family and friends remembering 18 year old Jessalyn Zuniga at a vigil under the overpass on the East Freeway near Greg Street, the same spot she was found dead early Sunday. We're just honoring my daughter. You know, this is something she was a young, beautiful girl that was full of life that she would never jump off a bridge. You know, she was she's just full of life. She just graduated last year and this is not this is not the stuff that she would do. Jose Zuniga is hoping someone comes forward because right now he isn't sure how his daughter died. Houston police say a gray Dodge Ram pickup truck hit a barrier a few times and stopped on the shoulder of the freeway around 3 a.m. on Sunday. Witnesses told police they heard a man shouting before he ran off. At first, police believed Jessalyn died from suicide. Witnesses over the weekend told us they heard someone shout, don't do it. But later that night, the man driving the pickup who fled went to Houston police and said he was involved in a crash and a woman was thrown from the truck. Zuniga says the driver of the truck picked his daughter up from their home earlier that night. They were talking for about a month, he says, but it was the first time they were going out with friends and the last time Zuniga would see his daughter. The first time she went out, she didn't come home. She, she ended up dying. The case is now being investigated by the HPD hit and run unit and no charges have been filed. Zuniga holding on to hope that someone can help get his daughter justice with the answers that this family is so desperately searching for. If you saw anything, if you saw, you know, the wreck, if you saw a struggle, the car may be swerving or anything, you know, please get in touch with, contact with the police. It would be a great help. Brooke Taylor, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.